Today, we're going to build something super cool, a staggered animation in Flutter. If you've ever seen apps where elements on the screen animate in sequence, like cards sliding in one after another or buttons bouncing in order, that's what we're recreating. Staggered animations are perfect for onboarding screens, product showcases, or anywhere you want to grab attention. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to build stunning staggered animations in Flutter using the animation controller and tween. So let's dive right into it. Set up a new Flutter project. Once the project is set up, open it in your favorite editor. First, replace the default code in main.dart with this boilerplate. This sets up a material app with our main screen. Now let's create staggered animation screen. Create a new file called staggered animation screen.dart set up stateful widget because we'll need to manage animation states. Here's what's happening. We're initializing an animation controller in the init state method, setting the total animation duration to two seconds. The dispose method ensures we clean up the controller when the widget is destroyed. This is our foundation. Next, we'll build the staggered animation itself. Let's make this interactive. Instead of just a text widget, we'll create a column of animated squares that animate one after another. First, let's define a function that builds the animated widgets. Replace the build method in staggered animation screen state with this. Let me explain. The bliss.generate creates five animated boxes dynamically. Each box will have its own animation delay. Floating action button triggers the animation sequence when clicked. Now, let's implement build animated box to create our staggered animation logic. Here's what's happening. Each box has its own interval defined by the delay. For example, the first box starts immediately, the second starts after 200 milliseconds, and so on. Next, we create an animation using the tween and curved animation classes. The tween defines the start and end values of our animation, in this case, from 0 to 1. The curved animation controls the timing and easing of the animation. We're using an interval to specify the duration of each box's animation and the curves.ease out curve to create a smooth, decelerating effect. Now comes the animated builder widget. We use animated builder to rebuild the widget every frame of the animation. This widget allows us to rebuild a widget whenever the animation changes. Inside the builder function, we're using opacity and transform.translate to create the animation effect. As the animation progresses, the opacity of the box increases and it moves downwards from its initial position. So to recap, we're creating multiple build animated box widgets each with a staggered delay. Animated Builder then takes care of animating the opacity and position of each box, resulting in a visually appealing staggered animation. When we run this, pressing the play button will make the boxes animate one by one with a smooth easing effect. This is the power of staggered animations. Let's make this even cooler. We can easily customize the animation to suit different use cases. For example, instead of translating the boxes vertically, let's rotate them. Update the transform.translate to transform.rotate and set the angle. Transform.rotate allows us to rotate a child widget around a specific axis. Angle property determines the angle of rotation. Now, if we run this, the boxes will rotate in instead of sliding up. We can see nice animation on the screen. You can also play with the curves to make the animation bounce or ease in. Just change curves.ease out to something like curves.bounce out. This flexibility is why staggered animations are so fun to work with. You can mix and match animations to create something truly unique. And share your creativity in the comments below. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more Flutter tips and tricks. And let me know in the comments, what animation should we tackle next? Until next time, happy coding!